I know you all saw the sign on your way down, but per Ian and Andrea's wishes, we ask that this remain a wireless ceremony. I know that's weird from the guy with all the music to be saying that out of anybody. <laughs> but please refrain from using cell phones. Hey there, thanks for tuning in. Welcome back to the Torgo Entertainment YouTube channel. Torgo here. Welcome back to another gig log and welcome back to another wedding. Hello, I'm here. Oh. Now I realize this is unusual. The camera's a little shaky and that's because I'm holding my cell phone. My camcorder is packed up right now because I have two weddings this weekend. We kick things off today. Well, tomorrow I'm filming this on Thursday night with the wedding of Ian and Andrea. I booked Ian and Andrea's wedding through Wedding Wire. They found me, they're local, they decided they wanted to have me, and things are looking great. The only problem I foresee with this wedding is a lot of the music they want. They want it loud, they want it fast, they want a real good time. But we head back to Wellsburg, New York and White Hollow Acres. Let's go to the map. Beep, and show you exactly where that is. Again, about 30 to 40 minutes away from Corning. And if you recall from the other two gig logs I've had there from this year alone, guess what? They have a noise ordinance in play, 90 decibels, and it's very easy to hit that. Just speaking on the microphone alone puts me at 75 to 80. Other than that, I don't have much to say about this wedding, especially since I've been here twice already. They are going with the up lighting, purple, as you can see, kind of a mauve color. Phil has to work his day job on Friday for this wedding and he'll meet me out there. And he'll meet me on Saturday as well because he actually lives very close to that venue. But that's another story for another gig log and another video. But right now, let's head to Wellsburg. Let's go. Ah, uh, the last time we make our way up this hill, that's 10 miles per hour, or seven, or six, as I end up going, because you can't kick up dust here. I'm not gonna give you an overhead map, because the layout's exactly the same. The only difference is we actually have the ceremony on site. If you look on the left side of the building, you can see the pavilion where they have that. Here we have the building layout before I started setting anything up. It's a little tight in here. They have a lot of tables, and it makes up lighting a little bit of a challenge. There's my table provided by the venue, and our old friend, the decibel meter. I hate you. Anyway, here we have the room laid out along with all of my stuff. So let's run you through it and see what I have. This is gonna look very familiar to a lot of you. Here we have one of my totems and on top we have the ADJ Focus Spot 3Z. It's on channel 61 if you care about that kind of thing for DMX. Inside we have the 5PX Hex and at the bottom we have that clamp which juts out a little bit and we have the element hex power acting as the wireless DMX conduit and we have STs around the room as well. I think 12 of them for up lighting. Here we have the plug which is where the totem is powered and we have power on the other side for everything over there. Here we have my dragon front boards facade the Ritmo pattern. I do not like having these speakers so close to each other but we have some up lighting underneath there and the QSC K10.2 tops. You've seen these so many times. And we have my Allendale Defender covering the cords up a little bit for that walkway. We have the UB12 hex bars lighting up the facade. We have the Airstream app on my iPad. So check this out, it's on my white preset right now, but just to show you that I have it all ready to go. Here we have that color that they chose, which matches everything. We have the up lighting around the room. There is the hex code, in case you wanna plug that in for your own color. It's a little more red on camera than it is in person, but again, you know, eyes versus lenses back on white so the photographer can get her photos done. We have the Power Bar 65, the wireless trackball mouse, mic stand, the Roland DJ808 controller, my Samsung Odyssey Z notebook running Virtual DJ 2020. One of these days I will upgrade it, I promise you, just not now. The Airstream DMX bridge itself, and we have my SanDisk 2 terabyte solid state hard drive, my Audio-Technica ATH M50X headphones, my anti-fatigue mat, and another Defender, which we ended up not using. We have my water supply, hi Rachel, and we have more power, and you can see it's really tight in the room. 
but we're gonna have to go outside to show you the rest of all this stuff. So there is the Bose S1 Pro, and let's zoom all the way out to show you what kind of distance I'm gonna have. There's one of them. I have that up there so that when they come out for entrances, they can hear. And of course, I have the other Bose S1 Pro and the rest of the ceremony rig up here. I like this positioning, it kinda, the barrel kinda obfuscates some of my cords. I gotta clean this up at some point, maybe next year. We have my Furman power conditioner and the mic racks with the ULXDs, my Yamaha 10 channel mixer, my Samsung Chromebook, which has all the music on a flash drive. And we have the wireless lapel microphone from Shure in there as well, it's a Sennheiser microphone. And there's my finger and that is pointing to my power inverter. And that's all she wrote pretty much. Again, Bose S1 Pro up top, two channels. Just run them on both. And you can see it's kind of a bit of a throw. So in order to get that there, we have to do a little bit of funniness with the wiring because you can't really XLR out. So we have our radio two to one mixer and we have one channel going in and it's going to the Sennheiser transmitter and the other one is inside that speaker. So now we have time for one more thing. It's time to level up. This angle's terrible, but let's go. Well then, by the power vested in me, the state of New York, and the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster, I, pro I pronounce you the new doctor and missus. Please kiss. <laughs> It is my privilege to introduce to you your wedding party. First up, make some noise for Caitlin O'Reilly and Kelsey Burgess. Next up, we have Matthias Bessie and Sarah Whiting. Keep it going.
for joining us for our new list. And I'm back the morning after. I'm in my living room right now because guess what? I need these up lights for tomorrow. So I have to charge them right now. But overall, that wedding went really well with one minor exception. And again, it's something I can't do anything about. Catering was late. Again, I had to adjust the schedule on the fly. We had to move the parent dances up to right after the toasts. Get the toasts immediately after the first dance. I don't like front-loading weddings like that because it's a lot to expect of your guests to just watch things over and over again. It's like the previews to a movie, except it happened after the ceremony. I just think it's a weird experience for guests to just be taken on this journey of watching all this stuff that they can't really participate in, which is why I like to break it up a little bit. And with dinner, it was good. They had wood-fired pizzas, but the problem is those things take time. And a lot of the time was spent with people waiting in the buffet line for food to get ready. So dinner took about an hour 20 just for me to call all the tables through the buffet line. But once that finished, things went really well. The sparkler send-off took a little longer than I wanted it to as well, which again, another sparkler send-off I was not made privy to prior. And that's because the venue didn't know where the sparklers were. So 8.30, I was ready to go. I announced it and then nothing for like two or three songs. And then it took a while for people to get out there. A school bus shuttle showed up right as it was happening. <laughs> Which, you know, that caused some people to leave. And it made a lot of people leave, actually. They had three shuttles, 845, 945, and 1045. And a lot of people got on the first one because of how cold it was. So, we lost a lot of the crowd, but we went right until 10, and everyone seemed to have fun, especially Ian and Andrea. The playlist will be at the tail end of this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. The next video will be today's wedding, actually. It is the day after Ian and Andrea, and I have Tom and Brooke coming up today, so stay tuned for that. But until then, I'm Torgo with Torgo Entertainment, and I'll see you at the next gig. Take the hit. I gotta learn how to talk. Take care. The problem was listening to me. I know, we listen to the photographer. How I'm not dare even, we? I'm not even a photographer. I'm the DJ assistant. Oh, God damn it, DJ assistant. I'm a, I'm a roadie. Who knew? Who knew? I am not the person to listen to in any... They can, though, if you wanted to. Don't listen to her. I'll do anything you want. <laughs> and the reason. <laughs>